Hey there. Let me introduce you to our new video idea. Playing and rating new releases and indie titles. We are going to check out the new releases and upcoming releases theme page and hopefully pick out some gems to play and share. The webcam was a mess, but the core point is as follows. The basic idea is just to look into the games, rate it a little bit and then um, uh, edit a video out of it. But let's dive right into it, you will get the idea. We are going to focus on free and cheap pish kind of games, mostly from devs without much budget, so my first choice was Savage. Savage is an indie action roleplay boss fight single player game where you have to fight you through different enemies to get forward. Special about it is that you have to control two characters simultaneously, one with the keyboard and one with the mouse. With the help of different skills, you have to make sure your characters are fighting in the best possible symbiosis and with the different ranges and attack forms, you need to keep an eye on both of them. The game was released on the 6th of June and was overall a fun experience in a short amount of time I played. My rating for this is as follows. Pretty decent for a game for 4 dollars with a free demo. For players who like the art style and genre, that's a go for me. Hup Hup the Cupcake is as cute and sweet as the name itself. You basically lead a cupcake through a procedural generated world with pieces floating above the clouds. Pretty straightforward. While I was streaming this, it reminded me of the getting over it horror a few years ago. Or only up. Falling down and getting reset to the start. Annoying background music, even though I had actually some good time with it, and inverted camera movement that I found out later you can uncheck. Maybe a quick summary of the stream? Uh... Okay, I can't. I... Okay, just go for it, just go for it. Okay, okay. My rating for this is as follows. Overall, Hup Hup brought me some fun while playing it, and you can play it endlessly. For people who like this genre, it's a go for me, at least for a quick and time-killing purpose. Well, yeah, Lifting Unlimited was a kind of game that you play once and maybe dig out a few months or years later to play it once again. But after that, it disappears in the limbus of your library. Nothing wrong with this, especially because this game is free to play. But you want to play games that hook and get your interest and Lifting Unlimited is, at least for me, not one of those. But yeah, one or two nice and fun moments were there. Enter, wait, so it was like 300. I don't know what... Uh... Okay, oh... Okay. Injured? Yes! <laughs> Scheiße. Okay, shit. And this one, also 300. Why not? Totally. Okay, <laughs> that was quick. But all in all, this game has too little playability. But again, it's totally free, so your hour of playtime isn't wasted. So go ahead and support this dev as well. Here's my rating. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think in the comments and leave a like if you like. Quick and dirty, thanks for watching, see you next time.